what's going on guys welcome back to my channel so y'all ready for part two Like I said in my previous videos, the days weren't planned, so I was basically going with the flow with everything. But still, it was a great day. Anyways, I'm not going to be doing the bugger talking right now. I'm just going to show you guys what happened on my last day in Trinidad. And before you go, don't forget to subscribe and turn on all notifications. Enjoy. Suit up front and already. Good. <laughs> okay, so before I go any further, I know you guys are probably wondering where I got my wetsuit. My very first wetsuit. Me tell us that good look good night. <laughs> so I'm about to show you where it all started. Let's go. So it started right here at a store called Out and Under. Now, Out and Under is a father and son business that started 10 years ago in Trinidad. It was realized that the sport of spearfishing has many reputable brands that each specialize in various categories of gear. And with the involvement of dozens of brands from Europe, US, and many other regions, this company has grown to cover all aspects of the sport of spearfishing and freediving by carrying the best in each category of items and is also used by the best around the world. So after years of perfecting and expanding the spearfishing aspect of the business, it was now time to explore the untaped market of knives and outdoor equipment. The outdoor division was then born, so they started to sell knives and expanded to all blades and outdoor gear and lights. And with proper research and tests, Out and Under are the dealers for all the top quality products. All right, tell the guys where they should come when they want their spear guns, equipment, well, for all things like spear fishing, free diving, and anything to do with underwater, those kind of things, they definitely need to come and check us at Out and Under. All right, guys. Here at number three, Arms and Drive, that's the correct Extension Road, and you can check us out online at www.gooutandunder.com. How do you feel? It feels good. I have to wear it inside out to try it on, but it feels really good. So I'm gonna buy this one. Yes. So this is the one that I give. That I'm gonna buy. Let me show them. This one. So I love the material, I love the color, the texture, I love everything. So, yes, this is the one I'm gonna choose. I'm gonna be so cool in the water. You know what I'm gonna get? I'm gonna get the one there, the one, the one, the one, this, the top row. Yeah. Oh, heaven.
we're gonna jump here and see what we can find. y'all know i love the water and y'all may not know this but we were in the water for a while i didn't record that because i thought it was pointless but yeah i was determined to catch a fish i didn't care how long it took i let me tell i was tired i was like exhausted in this water <laughs> but i couldn't leave trinidad without catching one fish and this pole spear was so long like it was super long so it was a little difficult to maneuver but i was having fun either way clean that's it because i'm gonna get some food okay guys so right now we're gonna be preparing a trinidadian style lionfish my friend moose here is going to be doing it it's very quick easy because you know time is getting late so just sit back relax and watch what happens this way you get shot <laughs> <laughs> Great. Mm -hmm. I don't think this is from local. It's huge. I see them in the supermarket. Mm.
So we have salt and pepper. Mm -hmm. What's that curry? Saffron. Saffron, oh. And some um, thermosala. Okay, so what are the ingredients we have here? We have similar seasoning. Mm -hmm. The medicine, charabeni, tomato, garlic, ginger, pimento, three different colors, sweet pepper, uh, lemon. So because you're from Jamaica, I'm giving it the red, yellow, and green. Okay. <laughs> is it is it local ginger? Most likely. Okay. Benny. Benny. Shadow, Shadow Benny. Okay. And he uses in everything. Almost everything? Yeah, everything. Almost. Can't forget the onion. No. Mm -hmm. I have a philosophy whatever I put in it, you should mm -hmm. be able to taste every single one of this. Mm -hmm. And if you're not tasting it, well, then it already belongs in there. That is my philosophy. I might be wrong. Milk mm -hmm. powder, yeah. I always like to use fresh, you know, but, but we don't have. Make curry, um, that was some that I burned before. Oh, it was too much, so I just ended up keeping it. put some medicine. On Instagram shot guys. Here. Oh yeah, this is good. I can taste all of the flavors, like you said. Mm-hmm. 
Yeah, okay. Really sauce. Yeah, scoop it really sauce, right? Oh, yeah. yeah. It have to go together there. Yeah. And I taste the medicine. Because it's, the sauce is more uh, mild and it. Mm. So, in the front stuff? Yeah. yeah. With the sauce and the, the fish, yeah. yeah. So, you have to do it with the sauce. With the sauce, yeah. But one is more harsh and one is mild. Mm -hmm. So, it makes. The balance back. Yeah, it balance. Oh, that coconut sauce. <sighs> Mm. So this is not Trini Trinidad dish, this is your dish. This is my dish, yeah. <laughs> No lie, it feels great to get a home-cooked meal in Trinidad. Definitely feels a little more like home. But seeing that it's my last day here, I had to stop by at least two food spots tonight. On my way home, I stopped at a stall called John Rock Punch, owned by Seamus Man. That's what they call him. And he's known for making the best Seamus smoothies. I've never had Seamus smoothie before, so I knew I had to try it. I actually tried the beetroot Seamus smoothie, and that was delicious, but I wasn't really tasting the Seamus. So he requested I try the plain Seamus smoothie. And let me tell you, the best smoothie I've ever had. I would drink this every day. I'm talking 10 out of 10. Mwah. Chef's kiss, okay? After I went home and rested a little bit because I was tired and it was my last day, y'all know I had to try the famous doubles, okay? I could not leave Trinidad and not eat some doubles. Doubles is a common street food originating in Trinidad and Tobago of Indian origin. And it is normally eaten during the breakfast time or even lunch or even a late night snack because that's what I see most people doing. Now doubles is filled with two barras, flat fried dough, that's what they call the barras, and it's filled with curry chickpeas, various chutneys and spice. Now I have to be honest and say this is absolutely the best street food I've ever eaten since I've been in Trinidad. And it's my first time tasting it too so I had to brag about it. I would give this 15 out of 10 if that's possible but yeah. This right here is so amazing. I think I bought like three of them that night, but I won't care, it's my last day. And it was for like $6, so I had to try as many as I could. But yeah, this is fire. My trip to Trinidad is definitely one for the books. My first time traveling in a long time and I have no regrets with this trip. I definitely learned a little more about their culture, their food and their water of course. You know, I just feel so excited for what's next to come with adventures, travel, everything. I just, I'm just, I'm just excited. And you guys already know that I'll be sharing the experience with you. By the way, if you haven't watched the previous video that I posted, go ahead and click the link up here. Give it a watch. I really think you'd enjoy it. Once again, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe. I love you guys and I'll see you in the next one.